Hello and welcome to Magical Marker, a game of Dungeons and Dragons and Drawing. We're a bunch of cartoonists and illustrators who won't just be playing the game, but doodling what happens along the way. It's a PG-13 story of teens and tweens on their first big adventure on their own, away from their mentors. Let's introduce the cast. Please tell us yourself and your character's name and your age and your class. And I don't know, you can tell us your favorite type of music or your favorite fruit. I don't care. Anything you want to tell us about your character. So let's start off with Boya. Hello, my name is Boya. I play a character whose name is Bug, and he is a bugbear warlock, and his favorite food is potatoes. I'm sure we all know. All right, Priscilla. Hi, I'm Priscilla, and I play a half elf bard named Isburiel, uh, who is 17 years old, and um, his favorite food, is, I think was established in the first episode, was lark's tongue pie. Yeah. I, I said I said fruit this week to make it more specific, <laughs> and so I mean he's already kind of a fruit, so that would that cannibalism. <laughs> All right, um, Caitlin, do you have a an introduction for us? Da -da -da. I do actually. <laughs> My name is Caitlin. I play Zip. She is a drow fighter, and she's sixteen years old, and she really likes rock music which in this universe is the sound of rocks being smashed together melodically all right Very close modern. uh hi i'm matt um i play swell a 15 year old water ganasi cleric um his favorite food is is fish the aurora the better but it has to be um you know, made very well presented very neatly otherwise it's uh it's just raw fish. I hesitate to All say right. sushi, but it's basically sushi. <laughs> and I'm Brian, your dungeon mancer, and I'm currently running the party's NPC companion, Sutran, who is a magically animated severed hand, who is from a spellcaster from years ago, and she's searching for her other hand so she can magic herself back a body. Our will-be heroes are on the tropical island of Sleeping Thunder, where they have encountered all sorts of strange flora, fauna, and phantoms. Having been given a vision of their mentors trapped in the crystal crown of a titanic phoenix kraken giant, the teens have decided to seek their mentor's ex-companion, Britta Brushwand, who lives on an island to the north. Most recently, they have stopped in Thunderroot, a village known for their mining and their dyes. But after buying some fashionable clothes and bolts of fabric, the party of adventures bolted to a fashionable party. Lara Songpearl, a chameleon lizard teen, snuck them out of the village to an ancient tree where they bury their ancestors amongst its roots. These boreal bug and zip all drank of the, in the revelers' tears of Lundario, the ghost tree, which had unusual psychedelic effects. These boreal performed songs that brought the rave hard to the graveyard. Zip sulked and tried to pick a fight. Bug just sweated out and drank lots of water, and Swell got into philosophical discussions about titans. The teens finally got a chance to be regular teens instead of hardy adventurers. But then, when the rave was at a lull, and Laura asked Ease to join her in a duet. As Kruth, Krauth, how do you pronounce the instrument you play? Kruth. Kruth. As Kruth and Fife joined harmonies, the skeletons from beneath the giant tree roots began to stir to life. By the end of the first verse, a wave of panic struck through the crowd. And now the partiers face a murder of undead. Esporeal, unsure what the ruckus is about, as she is hallucinating everyone at the party is undead. I turn it over to the group and say, "What are you going to do?" Um, I believe when we left off, Zip, Zip was uh, curled up with a skeleton in the tree. I don't know if she knows what's going on. All right, so you're probably one of the first people to realize that the it slowly starts to move. You're not even sure that it's moving because you feel like everything's slippery uh, because of drinking the Lundario's tears. So you're like, this even I can't even hold on to the skeleton. What's going on? And then you realize, oh, it's moving. And the other ones are moving too. Is this, oh, okay, no, this is happening. Um, are they attacking? Uh, currently, they have not started, uh, you know, clawing anybody's eyes out or, or brandishing sticks at you. Okay. Um, this is just the, they have risen and are going. 
like they're just slowly walking towards the people. Yeah, they're just slowly making their way, and the crowd just starts panicking. Is the music yeah. still playing? Uh, um, well, the fife music stops. I don't know whether uh, East Boreal stops playing her, her his kruth. Uh, he probably does not, but he wants to. I <laughs> guess the show must go on. And um, is it possible to do any kind of check? To, he wants to see if they look like they're actually. I mean, it's clear that the others weren't expecting it, but does it look like the skeletons are hostile or are they just kind of like drawn by the music? Because he would totally believe that he can call the dead up from the grave with the um, beauty of his music. <laughs> I would like you to make a perception check at disadvantage. B, 13. 13. There seems to be something off. Like, you know, everybody's panicked. Like. There are some undead that are afraid of other undead. Mm. And something seems wrong here. Wait, like the so the undead seem afraid? Yeah, the, the ones who have risen? No. That the the partiers are now responding, like you see ghouls and vampires going, ah, skeletons. Oh, oh, okay. Wait. Because you were seeing everybody else at the party as various forms of undead. That's what you were hallucinating. Oh, right. boreal. And so <laughs> when you look at them, some of them are skeletons, but mm -hmm. the ones that have risen from the tree are all skeletal figures. Uh, okay. Um, which, which seems unusual. You're like, wait a minute. I've been hallucinating a bunch of different types of undead, but they're all skeletons, and these undead seem to be afraid of these skeletons. Something weird's going on here. Like with that perception check, thirteen's not bad. You mm. you know something's afoot. Okay. Uh, I guess I will. Um, I'm gonna keep playing, but I am also going to uh, minor. I'm going to stroll off stage. <laughs> do, just very casually. <laughs> All right, you stroll off strumming. Uh, mm -hmm. Bug or swell? Did you have a reaction you wanted to do? I feel like I don't necessarily realize what's going on yet. Okay. So um, I'm just, I'm still just like sitting there and be like, hmm, what's why is everyone freaking? Everyone's just having such a good time, screaming. Running around everywhere. Is the, the group <laughs> of kids I'm I'm talking to are they freaking out as well? Have they realized? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to ask them. What what what's wrong? What's up? And I'll start looking around to see. And like you you clearly see that the dead have risen. Oh, is that? That's that's not that's not <laughs> normal, right? No 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 no. Ah uh, and. One of them is like frozen in fear. Uh, they like in if flight, fight, and uh, freeze. One's chosen freeze and one chosen flight. And there's only one that looks like they're maybe doing fight. And that's the, the dwarf that didn't want to pick a fight earlier with Zip. They've like taken like one of the, they've taken a bottle and just uh, smashed it and picked up a stick and are, you know, making their way over there while everybody else sort of backs up. How about Zip, now that you realize that something strange is going on here? Um, the last thing that I was hallucinating was that I could speak with Lundario. That's so correct. I'm going to take this as a sign from my now divine goddess that um, that the skeleton is my friend. And I'm going to try and dance with it. You're going to try to dance with it. OK. Yeah. Uh, may I have a performance check? OK. Eight. Eight. You're trying to dance with it, like by holding on to it, but it just keeps slipping out of your grip. It, <laughs> you're not sure if it just doesn't want to dance with you. Maybe it's not interested in dancing. Maybe it's trying to be aggressive, or maybe it's just slippery like everything else. I'm going to be like, hey, who turned off the music? I'm trying to dance with my new friend here. Still playing. Although oh, the fife playing? is, yeah. The, the Kruth is playing, the fife is gone. 
Um, anybody else have a something they want to do? I'm just gonna. I out. am casually trying to find uh, the other members of the party and walk over to them. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, the first person you spot is going to be Bug. Okay. Actually, if you're looking at the skeletons, the first person you'll spot is Zip. Okay. Um, I will head over toward her then. All right. And... The music's getting louder as East Boreal walks over towards you. Zip. And uh, the undead. Let's see. Um, what's what song are you going to like? What lyrics are you singing, if anything? He's for real. Uh, with the song that was being sung, it was um, <clears throat> something about a, a legendary hero named Dunhilda, I believe. Right. And uh, I start to go into a rendition of how to uh, extemporize a chorus or a, a lyric about how Dunhilda fought against the skeletal hordes of Umaktur. And um, uh, she took up her shining axe and bravely defeated them and sent their skeleton bony, I, bony I think, joints flying. I mm -hmm. think there is a, a verse that she has about that. It's, I went in a dungeon, the death was quite pungent. A bevy of zombies wanted me for a luncheon, but I fed the dead horde a mouthful of broadsword, 190 plus two for the record. Clad black as a panther was their necromancer. He demanded, who dares? So I gave him the answer. And then it's the uh, Doom Hilda chorus again. So there is a song about her fighting undead. And you can just change that to be skeletons instead of zombies. And I go into that, into verse. that then. Yep. Um, The skeletons, upon hearing that, seem unhappy and angry and uh, are going to start attacking. <laughs> so. Nobody appreciates art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, she's singing about you while I'm trying to dance with my new skeleton friend. <laughs> well, the good news is I've rolled a whole bunch of dice and I got two 15s plus their bonuses and uh, almost everything else was under six. So these uh, are like baby newborn skeletons that aren't really ready to attack you yet. They're still getting control of their body as they're sort of perky jerky moving around. But um, I check their what their bonus here is to hit. But what's your armor class, Zip and East Boreal? Uh, Eighteen uh, right, for me. Right now it is a twelve. I did not wear armor to this. Okay, so the twelve is definitely going to be a hit. And the other one has plus four, so. 15 plus 4 is going to be a hit as well. That's 6 damage to Zip. No, sorry. Uh, 8 damage to Zip and 3 damage to East Boreal. As your dancing partner, Zip, goes nah, and just claws you across the face and now you've got just like, you know, scratch, bloody face marks. And East Boreal, take that well. one, like, lunges at you and your crew is trying to smash the musical instrument and you know you get your hand out of the way to sort of block it but the your arm gets scraped up mm. ah, so many critics here today um, so i think now is a wonderful time for us to roll an initiative I got Great. 20. So that was 20 from Boya. Uh -huh. 19 for Swell. 19 for Swell. Uh, 7 for Zip. 7 for Zip. And East Boreal? 13. 13. All right, what's your dexterity, Kayla? What's, um, what's plus 1. Okay. Oh, th 13, I guess. All right. Uh, up first is Bug. So you can hear and see your friends getting injured now. 
Okay. If so how, about, how far away am I? Um, how far away would you like to be? I mean, if you're like, oh, I want to be within 30 feet so that I can cast oh, okay. this spell. If you're like, oh, I want to have backed away and be, you know, like, since we're doing this theater of the mind, you can be probably, you know, as close as you want. If you want. They're like, are they like right in front of me getting hurt kind of thing? Or are they like, It's you like, know. you know, you're in uh, a football field uh, away. <laughs> Just kidding. More like, you know, a school gym, a school auditorium or something. Okay. You know, you could be in the back corner, but it's not, it's not enormous, but it's also not tiny. So if you, mm. you're not in danger, nobody's like threatening you. You don't, you don't have to back out of the fight, but uh, your allies are close enough that if you wanted right. to rush up and attack, they would be within range, the, the skeletons. And the skeletons, the way they attack is like, they like swing their arms kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, so I'm like squinting. I'm like, what's going on? I'm with, like, what is that person with uh, that just like look like attacked Zip? And I like slowly, I stand up and I walk over to get a closer look. All right, and, and you you see this that they're skeletons. Okay, and then I'm like, whoa! I I I feel alarmed because I see uh, I don't know blood or something. And I'm like. Zip's like looking like Darth Maul with like the red and <laughs> dark blue base. Um, okay, so I, is are they like still to get tangled together or apart at this point? They're uh, they're within a couple of feet of each other. Okay, then I'm gonna I'll be like, hey, you back off, and I fire my uh, Eldritch Blast. All right, roll the hit. Swell, you're going to be up next. Okay. Oh no, I, I, I rolled a nine. I got a nine. A nine. Pew! The blast fires off of your finger, but you are unable to make contact with these ever-shifting bones. You're not quite sure which way they're going to head, where they're going to turn next. Swell, you're up, unless you have a bonus action. No, Bug. no. What is a bonus action? Like walking or something? Huh. Um, that would be your movement. So your bonus action uh, might oh. be something like to, um, you know, shout something out. Okay. No, I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, so swell. What are you doing? Uh, I think I'm just gonna grab the guy that's like frozen next to me and just kind of shake him and say. What? What's going on? Why? What? Why are these things? Do they not? Oh man! What? What's happening? I'm just gonna shake him to try and get a response and get him to wake up. Uh, oh! What's going on? Oh no! Why are they alive? I don't know what's going on. Uh, help I'm, us! All right, and I'm just gonna like. You're gifted. I'm gonna turn him around and push him and say, "Just run, run for it!" And uh, I'll uh, turn around and see if I can find my friends. Um, yeah, I see. I see a few of them. It's pretty easy to find your friends, okay? Because most of them have run away. So maybe you don't see Bug, but you definitely see Zip and East Blue Real. All right, I'll run and towards. And you can also see the dwarf. All right, I'll run towards them, and um, I, I don't have any of my weapons on me. Oh no, I did. I said I uh, tucked my boomerang behind my back. So I'm gonna yeah, I'll take that and out. You can also turn undead. That's true. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that, save that as a, as a right. little a treat for later. Um, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll run in, and uh, I think I'll just hands together, like try and like bludgeon one on the on the head. All right. If I get close enough, hold the hit. Um, it's gonna be an unarmed strike, isn't it? Um, are you using the boomerang that it's not unarmed? Uh, well, I'm not going to throw it. I wasn't going to throw it. I think I'm just going to going to try and clobber one with my hands. Uh, it's a 15 to hit. 15 is going to be a hit. You okay. clobber uh, one. So that's four points of damage. Doesn't there is an injured skeleton. 
It doesn't tell Sorry, me what sort of that? damage that is. It just says four. Four damage. I'm gonna say bludgeoning. Okay. Because like an unarmed strike, unless you have a claw or something, would be bludgeoning damage. So I, I don't. I think using like the boomerang has an edge, but I don't think it's sharp enough to count as slashing. Um, skeletons have vulnerability to bludgeoning damage, so you actually do double damage. Nice. So, there you go. You actually hit it and do more damage than you were afraid you were going to do to it. Whack! Um, and then it is uh, East Boreal's turn. Um, I look at... So, there's a skeleton right next to me, right? That yes. hit me. Yes. Um, and I ske- so I'm close to Zip, and we both got attacked by skeletons. Is everybody in our team that I can see being attacked? Um, Bug is not. Okay. You don't see Bug. Last time you saw Bug, he was sort of like under a table kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, well, there's a skeleton that's right on me, so um, the team that I'm playing modulates into kind of a harsher shriek. Um, as a script that go really hard against the strings um, on a particular verse about the Dunhilda slaying the, the skeletons or the undead. And I cast Dissonant Whispers on it. All right. How does that work? I do not know Dissonant Whispers. So I whispered Scordant Melody, the only one creature of my choice within range can hear. Um, it must make a wisdom saving throw versus DC 14. Failed, it takes 3 to 6 psychic and must immediately use its reaction to move as far as its speed allows away from me. Give me the um, 3d6 damage because it absolutely failed at saving throw. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Ten um, psychic damage, All and right. then it has to move as far as it can. Um, and I think that um, that it staggers it. backwards. Going, ah! And I think that means it provokes an opportunity attack. Although, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, if somebody's yeah. wielding a weapon in that space. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that anybody said, is, though. I, <laughs> I can attempt to hit it with a... with a, I attempt to hit it with a kick, but even if it connects, it does no damage anyway. So, um, as, it, as it reels away, I try to kick it and go, take that yet, you... for injuring me. Um, does that mean you're trying to use a bonus as an insult? No, that was uh, okay. That was me attempting to use my reaction to take an opportunity attack with a kick, but it doesn't matter because, uh, except that I use my reaction. So. Okay. Um, then we're going to jump to the skeletons. So the skellies are now going to surround you guys. Um, What's your armor class, uh, Swell? Um, right now I'm not wearing my armor. So, um, is it just, that's just, is it 11? Without... It'd be 10 plus whatever your dexterity bonus is. Then it's 10. All right. Um, all right then. So the skeletons come rushing towards you all. You hear the clattering of bones. It sounds a little, little reminiscent of rock music, but not quite. It's a little lighter. And they strike towards you guys. And each of you takes one hit. That is going to be seven damage to Isboreal, eight damage to Swell, and three damage to Zip, as you are clawed by sharp fingernail or finger bones phalanxes of the skeletons and then it's zip's turn zip is not taking this attack on her person lightly she's gonna be like ah what the hell man i thought that we were friends and then she's gonna pull uh one of her hand axes out from her many belts in her dress and just like swing it at the skeleton that's attacking her. Give me a roll. Oof. It's only an eight. An eight. 
you whiff, you hit air. The skeletons are trying to get out of the way. Um, Maybe the axe is kind of fumbly and, and slippery in your hand. It gets stuck on my belt. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my bonus action um, second wind to get a little bit of hit points back. It's... Sure. You steady yourself. What does it look like when Zip takes their second wind? What, how do you focus or draw the energy into yourself? Just by screaming really loudly. Oh, yes. Yeah. That feels very Zip. Yeah, it's almost like a Dragon Ball Z, like, power up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, not again, not again. Um, that puts it at uh, Bug's turn at the beginning of the round. Oh, sorry, no, there's one more person to go, the dwarf. She takes a good swing with the stick and cannot hit one of them. They're too fast for her. Hmm. So my turn? Yes. So would you say they are like 10 feet of, apart from each other, all the skeletons? Or not 10, I guess within a small range or are they spread out? They're, they're now encircling your friends, basically. They, they're... Are, are my friends together or in separate places? Uh, I think they're separate. Nobody said anything about... I was, I ran know, towards I... Um, my, it... my friends, yeah. But yeah, are you like? Of, I was strolling towards it. Okay. Uh, are you like yeah. backs to each other, like the three of you together, and they're sort of all encircled by them then? Uh, I, I just don't know wanted that to I head towards reach. them. I wasn't sure if I had enough yeah. movement to get to them. Theater of the mind. So whatever you want. If you're like, I want us to be back to back, or it's like, oh, I want us to be on opposite sides of them, so we're getting a, you know the advantage of, uh, you know, being on either side. Uh, I don't know. Set yourselves up how you want. Visually, I think it would look cooler if we were back to back, fighting them off together, <laughs> surrounded by a skeleton horde. But I'm okay with whatever right. anyone uh, decides. How many skeletons are there? Just like there's at least eight. It's hard to tell. They're just eight. moving around. But okay. like I'm you gonna... know, that's just you're like I don't know, like one, six, five, six, eight. I think it's hard to get a, a good count on them in the middle of the battle. All right, I'm gonna. Like go towards like a, a group, the biggest cluster, and then I'm gonna cast the arms of Hadgar. Arms of Hadgar. All right. Uh, so is that saving throws on my part? Uh, yes. You okay? It's yeah. Each creature in that area must make a strength saving throw. I'm gonna let you hit six of them. And three of them saved, and three of them didn't. So uh, the ones that you, you fail to save, you take to the six. All right, so go ahead and roll that up. Wait, I roll it? Yeah. It's your spell. I mean, if you want me to roll it, I can roll it. But Okay, wait, how do you if roll I, it? If I roll it, I don't want you to go, I only got a two. It's more fun when you roll it and go. So do, yeah! should I just roll a d6 two times and add them together? Sure. Or no, actually, no, it has, oh, you can press on this. Okay, I got a six. So should I do it individually for three of them? No, just do it one time and I'll apply the same damage to all of them. Oh, okay. Well, then I got a six. A six. All right. So that means uh, two of them topple over because there there were two injured ones. Actually, no, the one that took 10 damage just backing away it wouldn't be with the others. It says, um, and can't take reaction until next turn, and then the, on the successful save, the creature takes half damage. All right. All right, so you've injured a bunch of skeletons as uh, I believe what it looks like is just this, these black tentacles writhe up out of the ground and strike at them. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Yeah, I, I guess I would draw it. And I, I'm going to flavor this, if you don't mind, that the black tentacles, as you look them, they kind of look like the night sky. You can see stars within them, like a, a <laughs> or okay. nebula. Wow. That's, um, if you have a different beautiful. flavor you want to put on that instead, that's fine. No, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, 
then we're going to go to uh, Swell's turn. Um, so yeah, I'll move closer to my friends if I wasn't already next to them. And um, first and foremost, I'll just be like, "What? What happened? Do you guys? Does anyone know why these things are attacking?" Because they're jerks, just like everyone else who I think is my friend. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. How many? How many are around us? Right now. Are they at least seven? At least seven? Are they within thirty feet? Um. Yeah. All right. All of all but one of them are within thirty feet. Okay. That uh, one of them is backed away, right? Because they they were panicked by Esporial. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna look around at them kind of like wide-eyed realizing I don't have my weapons I don't have my armor um, and then just kind of like yell out uh, get back and as I do I'm gonna channel divinity and burn undead um, so. right. are you gonna invoke your uh, God's name in some way because um, it's by your God's power you're turning them away so yeah I guess I guess I Get back by Sunda, and then um, just yell that as loud as I can with my cracking teenage voice. And um, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe a lightning bolt strikes me, and then energy just like pulses out. And uh, every every undead within thirty feet has to make a wisdom saving throw, which is a DC thirteen. Right, thirteen, huh? All right, two of them are sticking around. The rest of them are not interested in being here. And they all start backing up and moving away from you. Okay. Uh, which means that anybody who has a weapon out uh, can get a attack of opportunity on one. Heck yeah. Ooh, that's way better. I uh, attempted to kick one, but. Dirty 20. Nice. Dirty 20 is a hit. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't nine have a weapon. an hour since the party started, by the way. You say nine damage? Yeah. All right. I don't have a weapon uh, out, but I do have the guns. You had your boomerang out. Oh, OK. All right. But it's, it's a ranged weapon. You can still right. hit somebody. But it's an, imp <laughs> it's an improvised weapon. All right. Right? It's something you were using to hit people with, and it gives you some reach. So I would allow that. Like, for instance, if if uh, Isburiel was going to El Kabong them and hit them with the Kruth, I would allow that. But just like a fist is maybe, like, I don't think you threaten with a fist unless you're okay. a monk. Okay. That's one of the things. My that baby is way special. too yeah. beautiful to <laughs> You're to like holding it, you're cradling it away thought, from the edge. I thought you were saying yeah. that. <laughs> All right. Um, then I'll give, give it a hit. So that's 17. 17 to hit. Okay. Uh, 17. Uh, that's a hit. And then, I guess, just four points of damage. All right. Every little bit helps. So, uh, zip. Crack! You smash in with the axe, and you're slicing into one that has been gripped by... You You know, because you're, you've fought before, you've seen one that's a little more injured because of the, the arms of Hadar, and you see a weak point in it, and you hit that crack, and it <laughs> clatters to the ground as it's backing up. And swell, you take your boomerang and you smack one, and it, you know, its like arm is cracked and sort of hanging limply like this, and it looks back at you, and goes, ah, and it starts coming back at you, because oh. you know, as you attack them, right? Like if you attack one, it, it's no longer a turn. Oh right. Um. Yeah, Isboreal, you have something. Um, has it been an hour since the party started? Out of curiosity. Yeah. Okay. That was the only question I had. Okay. Um, so that means that uh, Swell has turned them. You guys have had your attacks. And we go to East Boreal's turn. There's okay. a couple of skeletons around you and uh, a bunch more backing away. 
I have also backed away from Bug with a little bit of alacrity. Although, did Bug actually make it to the rest of the group, or was he not? Bug is not with the rest of the group. Okay. He's attacking from a distance. Okay, cool. Then I do not back away from it. Uh, I look at the... the so I kind of automatically pulled the, the group away when the skeleton attacked me, which gave it free reign to like give me a pretty hard battering. I look at the bruises that are going up and down my chest and go, Ugh. It's okay. I'm still, I'm still fine. I, I am beautiful. My skin is whole. And start giving myself a bit of a pep talk and catch your wounds on myself. All right. Um, and then I will look towards uh, Swell. Um, I have actually noticed, despite my, my concern over myself, I did notice the fairly amazing display of power and once. That was all right. <laughs> And give him a uh, party inspiration. Nice. I um, like that. Just like your slight approval is all that it takes <laughs> to be inspired. <laughs> <laughs> we all crave. We all crave. He's a, he's a it's a step out from a neg. <laughs> he likes me. Um. I would like to add a uh, cannon, uh, if nobody has a problem with it, that when you cast uh, a healing spell, it has a, a slight smell of orange. Nice. There's, there's a citrusy smell from casting it. Um, then we're going to go to the Skelly's turn. Uh, some of them start going away, but there are still three around you that are acting aggressive. But Clumsy highest I rolled was a 13, which still could be a hit. Uh, swell. That's a hit on Swell. Okay. Uh, but only three damage. Okay. I'm rolling terrible on my d20 tonight. It's just the skeletons. Yeah. They, their the bark is worse than it. their bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that means it is Zip's turn. All right. Are there any more skeletons around me? Yeah, there's three. I'm just gonna attack the closest one to me. With, um... Oh man, another eight. These axes suck. All right. Uh, if you blame your tools like a good uh, workman. That the axes <laughs> are absolutely terrible. Not at all your fault. Not my fault at all. Um, and uh, then it's going to be the dwarf's turn. Is the dwarf? And the dwarf. Worse? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can yeah. I can I use my action surge as well? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I I feel like because uh, because my axe missed, uh, I'm gonna like. And, and I and I blamed it. I'm gonna annoyedly like throw it at a different one as sure. a, like a ranged attack. Go for it. Eleven. Eleven. Unfortunately, you just whip it into the grass. <laughs> I'm gonna scream angrily <laughs> at my incompetence. The dwarf <laughs> comes up from behind one of the skeletons and just like hits it in the back of the um, the leg, and it sort of crumples a little bit, but it's still coming at you guys. It sort of turns around and looks at her, and looks at you guys, not sure who's going to attack, because now uh, um, Zip, I think, specifically had been the one who was talking to them earlier. So the dwarf, even though you didn't hit it off with them, they kind of liked that you were eventually you took the water and and calm down. So they came over and are now flanking with you. So you'll have advantage next time you attack. <laughs> Bug, you're up. So there's still three left? There's three left. There's a, other ones that are still, they've walked away. They're just walking they away. away. They yeah. haven't like fallen back to being bones. Okay. Well, and the three are, which are they, any of them actively attacking? Yes, they're all attacking your friends. Okay. Well, then I aim for the easiest to hit one All right. with my blast. Um, and I got a 22. 
That is a hit. Oh. Roll me some damage. Oh. A ten. <laughs> All right. You hit one of the ones that was previously injured by your arms of Hadar, and that one just was obliterated into a bunch of bits, just bone shards flying everywhere. It actually, you know, exploding cuts up your friends a little bit, like their little bones that like skitter across their cheeks and, and oh, arms, no. making them even a, just a little bit more bloodied. Um, swell. All right. Um, one of the three that stuck around, um, I'm just gonna, again, try and uh, hit, hit one of those. The uh, unarmed strike. A bit more damage on it. Um, okay, that's going to be a 24. Uh, so another four points of, of damage. All right. Bonus action, or we're going to go to Ispuri on that. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, definitely bonus action. On myself, at least, because <laughs> I'm nearly dead. Um, oh man, what is... One of them is a bonus action, right? Healing word is a bonus action. Healing word? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna... Yep. I can cast that on myself, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, creature of my choice. Okay, uh, so yeah, I am a creature of my choice. Uh, I'm just gonna mutter... Little little prayer to Sunda and uh, me strength to stay in the fight and uh, casting the word and I get back six six hit points. Now it's really smelling like oranges. Yeah, <laughs> just that zest. Just right. an orange factory over here. <laughs> He's Boreal's turn. How are the three the other two looking looking right now? Uh, the other two skeletons, how, are they, how injured are they looking? Is that the no, 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 my, my the companions. They're yeah. looking okay. Mm -hmm. Just mad, like usual. <laughs> Just mad, like usual. A little bit beat up, but <laughs> sturdy still. As well. Uh, I'm, I'm good now that I just cast Healing Word on myself. Okay. Uh... This burial will unshoulder the um, cruise from the concert of protective hold that he had it in and start going back to bowing with the zest to uh, uh, yell and yelling, half yelling, half saying at the skeletons um, uh, that uh, you should just go home. You're, you're not welcome at this party. You didn't even have the right clothes for this. Look at you. All right. So the nearest one was in 13. Oh. Need to make a saving throw, and I do not make it. Skeleton's like, oh my god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I showed up wearing the exact same thing as everybody else here. <laughs> you wore rags too? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it takes all of one psychic damage since apparently that's all he can roll on a vicious mockery. And all right. advantage on his next attack. Great. Uh, and its next attack will happen now. That's good. It would have hit. Uh, one on zip. Uh, 13's not a hit on zip, is it? No, it is not. And 9 is not a hit on his boreal. So, uh, 3 misses. However, uh, before it's zip's turn, uh, I want to say that you hear a yeah, rah, rah, sounds from the uh, around you, and you can see that some of the other teenagers have started picking up stones and rocks and are whipping them at the skeletons, getting ready to whip them at the skeletons that are around you guys. So they're cheering you on. You're like, yeah, go Isporeal, go Zip. <laughs> um, so uh, go ahead and do your attack, and then I'll see if they're they're going to throw some rocks. Okay, um, can I grab the hand axe that I chucked at the other skeleton? No. I mean, okay. you can, but you'll take, uh, I'm going to give you an attack. Actually, no, you know what? Oh, no, wait, yeah, I was, 
only one of them couldn't take react. Was, they couldn't take reactions a couple of rounds ago when they had the I think arm the Hendar or something. So yeah, they have reactions, so they would probably attack you. Okay. Uh, instead, I'll grab a dagger from out of my boot and um, just stick it into the closest one. I just love that you've come to a party with uh, with weapons. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I told you, I'm, I'm always packing heat. I'm also always wearing my armor under whatever else I'm wearing, by the way, <laughs> just in case you were wondering. That's what that's in the, the picture, that's what that is. <laughs> it's like chain mail that she wears underneath everything else. Uh, okay, yeah, so, and I'm flanking with that dwarf girl? That's correct. Okay, that is 22 to hit. 22 is a hit. And that is 6 damage. 6 damage. Alright, that one is down. You shattered that one into pieces. Um... So there's only two left that are up, and the other ones are backed away. And the teams are just throwing rocks. And they're going to drop the other two that are around you with their rocks. Um, they managed wow. to shatter them so uh, into pieces. Now, there are still another several skeletons that are now wandering into the forest. How many rounds does that last? It's a minute, right? A minute, so... It's been two rounds. I think. Yeah. Um, so ten, 10 rounds, I guess, total. Um, six seconds around and all that, so mathematics. Um, but yeah, it, it'll should last for another eight, at least. So I'm going to take you guys out of initiative and say you have some time to make a plan before you guys do something else. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to talk, and I will time it. So, as soon as I hit my timer... Wait, wait, uh, before you do that, so what, why are they coming back or something? What? You don't you don't know that. You'll have to ask him. So, I'm starting the stopwatch. Okay. So I'll just say... Now. Uh, I, I don't know I could do that, but I think I think they'll come back um, in a minute. So uh, just let, let's get ready. Let's get prepared. Um, uh, what what the hell? Where is everybody? And also, that was not supposed to happen. I take it. Sh should we should we just uh, should we just leave? No way. Yeah, I mean, there's nobody here, so. Uh. Is there, is maybe, there any other reasons to come around? Maybe Although, they would just go he does to stop to take a bow to the audience. <laughs> Wait, did they come out because of the music? Or because of time yeah, what, of day? What was that? And I'll, I'll turn to the dwarf. The dwarf uh, girl. I've never say. seen that before. I don't yeah, know what that man. was. Uh, was it Was it the music that they came out with? Like, did they attack because they didn't like the song or what? So how many walked away? It was like four, five? Um, it was around that number. You didn't get a good okay. count. Uh, I how many people are like of the teens who are still around and throwing rocks and stuff? Um, you can't really see all of them because it's nighttime and it's they're in behind the trees and stuff. And they're hiding a bit, mm -hmm. so you might guess that like if the if half of the party goers are still there, that it's maybe twelve kids. Okay. Uh, look, there's enough of us remaining that if we all go together and work together with nets or clothes or something. And everyone tries to trip one up and hold them down and uh, take them out. We can all take them out pretty easily. At this point, you see them coming back to the edge of the circle, like the, the skeletons have walked back to where they were. So they walked away. So I timed them walking away, then I timed them walking back. So now they're like within 60 feet. Can okay. I grab that ax that I chucked away? Sure, you've got your ax. I'm just like uh, and I start to play a heroic way again. Again, the Dunhilda song of, um, <clears throat> uh, let's follow Dunhilda's example, and uh, keep throw throw the skeletons out of this, um, out of this place of party in peace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I like that plan. We can. I mean. 
the kids just threw rocks at it, so we can do that too. I'm gonna turn to the dwarf and say with glee, "This is the best party I've ever been to." Great. I'm just gonna use the same initiatives we had last time. So, Bug, you're up first. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I just I'm gonna do my range attack. Your Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Uh, 14. Jesse also loves Bugs or, Attire. 19. <laughs> Bugs Attire plus the arms of Hadar whipping up. <laughs> yeah. It's 19. Uh, that, that is a hit. And three. Three damage. All right. Uh, Swell, you're next. Uh, yeah, I'm going to check a ranged attack out too and uh, Sacred Flame. Uh, whoops. Uh, Close those lines. Dexterity right save through, please. Fail. All right. They take seven points of. I think it's radiant. Is it radiant? All right. Yes, radiant flame. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's radiant, radiant damage. Are you going for one that's injured or uninjured? Uh, uninjured, I guess. Okay. Uh, bonus action, or is it East Burial's turn? Uh, I believe that is an action. Yes, one action. Um, I do, how do my friends look in turn? Oh, I guess I can't cast. Oh, I can cast a cantrip and a spell each round, right? Uh, although I think Radiant Flame is, it's an action, isn't it? Not a bonus. Oh, I guess you could do Healing Word, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so how, how are my compatriots looking? Are they? I think uh, everybody's fine. Yeah, like, really? nobody's gotten hit since last we checked in. Even our Dwarf friend? Yeah, doing okay right now. Yep, they haven't been hit at all. All right, then I'll, I'll just save it. Continue. All right, I'm going to switch to East Boreal then. Um, did it look like my attempt at arousing uh, uh, Robert the Bruce speech <laughs> <laughs> worked? Uh, why don't you make okay. a persuasion roll? Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, it looks like the ones that are left are like the the party goers that are left are now you know, picking up weapons that they can use to fight off these skeletons, and they don't seem so afraid. Awesome. Um, I will turn around and uh, play a ditty at the nearest one that looks injured coming at us, and uh, say, uh, go home, my friends are stronger than yours. All right. Uh, Wisdom 13. It's close. Nope. They have a negative on wisdom. Skeletons, mm -hmm. not wise. <laughs> no doubt. They take one psychic damage. Again. Okay. One psychic damage. <laughs> and uh, wise, they would have stayed dead. The skeleton's yeah. turn. Oh, uh, also, I want to also point the bow at um, Zip and go. You're in your elements. This is your kind of party. This is my kind of party. <laughs> um, because uh, Bug yeah. was the first one to do the blast, one of the skeletons just comes rushing towards him and just jumps Rah! and just bites deep into Bunk Bug's shoulder. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. it, it ran 120 feet? <laughs> just kidding. It was 60 feet away, right? Uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess, yeah right. I guess that's too far. They don't get to attack this round. They don't get to attack this round. You're right. Uh, they rush towards you, and they're right in front of you. <laughs> That's wow. the end of their movement. Um, um, so then it's uh, Zip's turn. Um, so where are the skeletons in relation to Zip? Are they nearby? or? Yeah, you could step to them and attack them. OK. I shall do that. All right. 24. That is a hit. 
And then seven damage with the hand axe. All right. You drop another one. There's one left. <laughs> um, and the bunch of teens run up with, uh, and the dwarf all rush up and attack it and they finish it off. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we did it. Yeah. Woo. And they start high-fiving each other and running over to you guys and high-fiving you guys. Anybody that you high-five back or leave them yeah. hanging? Like, what's going on? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, we high-five uh, back. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> you and me says that bug had a that's so raven moment and you saw him to the future. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, I'm going to uh, um, commend the the dwarf on, on the, the awesome party idea of having the skeletons come to life. He's like, that was, that was the greatest idea. That was so much fun, you guys. <laughs> How did uh, you get the skeletons to come back? That was just a stroke of genius. Uh, this party kind of sucked before then. You were all like, no bad vibes, and then the skeletons come back. Oh, man. You, you needed like a scratch on the face to feel alive. Yeah. <laughs> um, there. Uh, I, I'm going to look at the dwarf and be like, sort of the same question, but from the opposite end. <laughs> I get the impression that was not supposed to happen. Does the dwarf still look like an undead to me as well? Um, with the adrenaline that kicked in, your uh, effects of uh, the Lundario's tears have waned a bit. So uh. they look like it, but it, it flickers a little more. Mm -hmm. um, she looks like a, like a skinless ghoul, like you're seeing the muscle underneath mm -hmm. and sharp teeth. And then it's back, the flesh is back, and then it flickers back and forth. Uh, I've never seen anything like that before. We come here all the time and, and we never have trouble like this. I guess you guys bring it with you. I don't know how. Yes, I've had one's always said that. Um, Parents just don't understand. Does anything strange or spooky sort of happened around this tree. It's kind of a strange and spooky tree in and of, in and of itself, isn't it? I mean, I don't think of it as being that, I mean, we come here because it's spooky, because that makes it cool, right? Like, oh, yes, it's, of course. It's no, it's no fun to have like a party in the, I mean, it's sometimes it's fun to have a party in the park, you know, with all the garden and the flowers and stuff, but, you know, it's also fun to have one to sneak out and do it in the Especially, you know, you know, it's not supposed to have anything other there than sacred enchantments, prayer. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, that. But I mean, I understand perfectly that I'm just asking if so. It's, it's never known to have any sort of thing or curses or anything like that. Nothing like this. I mean, the, people come here to have visions from Lundario, but to, to commune with the gods, but. Speaking no, of, did uh, not... Zip ever ask a question in Dariel? Skeletons came to life. I think she probably <laughs> asked it why it was being so mean to her. <laughs> <laughs> why are you such a jerk? So that tree had skeletons living under it, but now well, that's, that's where we buried them. We oh, buried our dead. dead under so it. now we that, smashed all of them. But we should probably put them back. Yeah, should we put we're going to get in big trouble. They're not going to believe us that they came to life. Can yeah. we put put them back in um, compromising positions? <laughs> 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 like maybe I, one's got like a finger jammed in its nose or something. Uh, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> um, it's a little more difficult to do because uh, the like when a skeleton is just not moving, all of the bones, you know, just sort of stay in place. Like they would just maybe fall a little bit. When they're magically animated, they're all moving around. But then when they fall again, like the phalanges between all the fingers, like they're all 
like nothing's connecting them. So there's just like a pile of bones. So oh. I guess it's it's harder to do like a whole finger because there's just like a pile of finger bones now. So wait, how, so then how do you keep each skeleton separate? You don't just I guess it's a giant <laughs> pile of bones and then they sort themselves out when they I guess it just out. goes back to nature. <laughs> Let's just try and keep Seems all like of them together. Like this, this looks like one. That looks like one. There's another one over oh, there. Sounds like work. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going can... to summon the unseen servant ritually and just have it do that stuff. You can play <laughs> some music while we put these back. It'll keep our spirits up at least. And then oh, you, you, you had a, a good idea. I have lots of good <laughs> ideas. <laughs> you hear somebody say, "Did you say music?" And then the DJ puts music on, like blasting from the, the <laughs> conch shells. The DJ was still here. The here DJ all was, 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 was <laughs> hiding underneath the thing. <laughs> and somehow, it's where else makeup, Ziggy Stardust like makeup that he applied before, uh, is perfectly unmarred. Doesn't even look like he has been sweated in. Somehow. <laughs> sure. Excellent. Um, so you return the bodies. Uh, some of you help and some of you don't. And so you try and make it kind of funny or you don't. Um, everybody who was at the party basically comes back as far as you can tell. Like maybe there's some people that ran away and have stayed away, but you're not wondering like it, like the, the chameleon woman, Lara, she's back. The two titan philosophers are back like everybody who you've spoken to you recognize you know has come back and the party's back in full swing again nice it's what time of the night is it like it's just like a min an hour has passed <laughs> no you guys uh it's probably like uh, after midnight like one o'clock in the morning maybe oh, okay it's not not that late actually Uh, does anybody have anything else they want to accomplish? Do you want me to move forward, move time forward, or what do you guys want to do? Uh, the only thing that's going to happen with Swell is he's, you're going to find him staring at his hands at one point, just being like, oh man, I didn't I didn't know I could do that. That was, <laughs> wow, that was, so, that was cool. That's it. Just staring okay. at his hands. One point actually is Borel in like one of those lulls in the party. He's usually in the center of it, of course, but at some point he's going to try and climb the tree or like dig around and investigate the tree and see if there's anything weird looking. All right, give me an investigation check. <laughs> oh boy, my best set. <laughs> oh, well, that was a dirty 20. All right. So you dig around and you don't find anything unusual. You don't find like a particular like magical amulet or power crystal or mm. magic circle or inscripted runes, nothing that would make you believe that somebody has done something to the tree itself or the roots and people underneath it. Having done that, I have no further idea where to go, so he's just gonna keep going, go back to the party. I will it's, ask uh, someone past oh, my bedtime. Oh. oh, I was gonna say, from my for Bug, he's getting very sleepy, so he's gonna find somewhere to. Uh, he finds Boxy and gets the bedding out. All right. <laughs> he's just gonna sleep here. Just in the middle of the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's too, it's, it's, it came on very suddenly and he was like, I need to just do this right now. All right, Boxy helps you set up. Yeah. Right, on, like uh, maybe under one of the table. Sure. You brought a couple of folding tables out. I will, I will ask one of the kids, have you, have you ever had, um, are the gifted party here? Like, have they have they drunk the tears and stuff? Like, 
No, we don't. We get a lot of like guys, like people that come through that are traders that they want to trade, do stuff with the dyes and the mining and all that. But we don't have a lot of, you know, like people our age. You know, I mean, I can only think of one in the last long while, like since I've been a teen. Did you bring them here for a for a rave or anything? Or I don't, I don't know. I didn't go to it. I was too young at the time, probably. Uh, but uh, it's like that was only last year, buddy. What are you talking? About? I know. I mean, uh, they didn't invite me. <laughs> just... You're talking to one of the guys who's like the, the the philosopher guys on the edge who are like talking about whether the Titans. Like you're talking about not the coolest kids at the party right now. And it's like, well, I, I don't know. Uh, you might have come here, might have not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to find a correlation as to why they came to life, but I, I mean, for the life of me, I, I can't. Like, so weird. Pen, pen, pen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I thought you'd know about stuff like that. I mean, we don't know much about magic stuff. Would, would Swell know any reason why they would have come back to life, being a cleric? What sort of check would you like to do? Like, do you want to ponder a religious thing? Do you want to ponder an arcana thing? Like, what sort I, of, I would say like what a sort religious of skill set thing. do you think Swell would bring to it? Yeah, I'd say more like a religious sure. thing. Like, you'd just be like, you know, because I can turn undead, so I'd have to have some sort of understanding of the mechanics of necromancy, even though it's like base. But not sure. like obviously, like not like a deep dive. Give me dive a roll thing. then. Um, Give me a, a religion roll. Five. Also known as a hot cross bun. Five. Nope. Still racking your brain. Nothing. You know what it was? You know what it probably was? Probably aliens, man. They probably like, like <laughs> came down and like raised them. The Titans. Yeah. I'm telling you, the Titans are aliens. They're from another planet. Probably, probably Titan, Titan magic. Well, I'll just keep talking to them about it until the, until it's time to go back. All right. Anybody else? Um, Zip probably going to drink more of that tier stuff. Okay. Um, give me another D10 roll then. Because <laughs> the effects are starting to wear off. So we'll see what happens this time. We start need to have an intervention. Three. <laughs> uh, you know, we've already had this, uh, so I'm going to do rerolls again, just to make it more interesting. Another roll? Yeah. Eight. Did we have an eight before? Nope. So you find yourself like dancing. And you're always on beat like you're dancing better than you've ever danced your entire life like you you're just a dancing machine you're feeling it you're in the groove and even though zip might not normally like to dance you're dancing if you you feel like if i don't know does zip want to go with it or does Zip want to resist it zip's gonna go with it okay she's, she's like while she was uh, putting away the skeleton bone, she's gonna just like hold on to the skeleton head, the one that she was like dancing with before. She's gonna be like dancing with it again. All right, so she's it's like made that, up with her skeleton the, friend. the ravers that do the invisible yeah. thing, except for it's a visible skull. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I was mad at you. <laughs> I'm gonna see it happening. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna nudge the Subriel and just like nod over in the direction of, of Zip. That's it. <sighs> Is it sliding? <laughs> well, it's, I suppose, that's a change of pace. <laughs> She's not yelling um, at us for a change. I don't know if you guys um, were ever awkward teens, but the go-to for somebody who like doesn't know how to talk to people at a party is to just keep drinking until you black mm -hmm. out <laughs> so that's kind of zip's mo <laughs> all right 
I don't think I ever drank until like college, so. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Uh, legal legal age is eighteen in Australia, so. <laughs> I didn't drink until I was thirty. Also, I was a good issue, so. I'm a teetotaler. Is a, a nervous drinker. Yeah. Where no, you totally don't know sense. how to interact with people, so you just like stand in the corner and like drink heavily. Until... This is also why I, I tend to haunt the snack tables and <laughs> yeah. make friends with the pets. So That's my go-to as well. Find the cat. <laughs> and then get angry drunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I guess then everybody is just happy to enjoy themselves for the evening. Um, you maybe pack it in maybe four in the morning or whatever, four or five in the morning. Sun's starting to come up around 5.30, feet are sore from all the dancing, your head is sore from all of the talking and not sleeping, and uh, do you guys want to make your way back to the hotel room before that? I don't, my, did I push you guys too far? Like, no, this, I mean, this probably is going to stay out as long as there's any kind of party. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, finally. I might, I actually <laughs> this is his reward of dealing with it. As well, my <laughs> head back around like 2 a.m. mark. And uh, just find Bug and uh, pick him up and carry him back. Oh. <laughs> Oxy and Sutran come with you. Oh, Sutran was there the whole time, right? Yeah. <laughs> she helped clean up the, the, the bones. Okay. Oh, okay. But other than that, she didn't do a lot. Uh, Did she have a good time at the party? Thumbs up. <laughs> She is one of those NPCs that is uh, intentionally doesn't talk a lot, so I don't steal the spotlight from you guys. She can't talk. She She's also hard to talk. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> she, she actually had the best time. I wonder if someone's gonna like draw a little mouth on her hands just so she can do like that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of eyes. Yeah. Wait, she could she could learn like the like hand farting kind of but like really advanced so it's like vocalizes yeah, yeah. with only and, like one hand yeah 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 That's super advanced <laughs> yeah i thought that was like a a both hand thing it used to be a <laughs> hand i don't know but, uh, well she could probably at least do snaps so. yeah that's true that's true um so you get back to your room uh it's dead quiet in the town and it's dead quiet in the hotel or the inn that you're staying in. Uh, you get in and just crash out and uh, East Boreal and Zip close out the night and head back with the rest of the partiers. And uh, they're like, yeah, that was so cool. I'm so glad you came. Uh, the chameleon is, you know, spending a lot of time talking to East Boreal and the dwarf a lot of time talking to zip they're sort of like you know, walking back with you guys like they're your new best friends that you'll never see again mm -hmm. and uh you guys wake up late the next day probably close to noon um you guys come out of your in room and find that the person who runs the inn is like well i'm sorry you missed the complimentary breakfast uh you guys can uh have a we didn't get the breakfast on the way in <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it hadn't really started yet. <laughs> um, but you guys can get the uh, charcuterie lunch plate where they've got like just cut up meats and cheeses, nothing special. Some some fruit as well. Um, and then, uh, are you guys interested in heading out or is there something else you wanted to do in town? Sprilla probably just wants to recover. <laughs> not, not, you know. Why do we come to this town again? It was did on it... your way north. Oh, okay. So as a uh, sleeping stop, rest yep. stop. Basically. Okay. Mm. So uh, I think we should keep going. Time is of the essence. Burial is very reluctant to do so and is more of the mind to just mount around. Uh, yeah, the Zip, town and Zip is also rarely agreeing with East Burial. Once. 
Yeah. Having... Also, a cold front descends on the town. <laughs> <laughs> what is there to do in the town? Sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For like guys, five days. You guys didn't get enough sleep last night? <laughs> Shockingly, no. I slept pretty well, I felt like. Hmm. Um, okay. I'll, I'll say, yeah, I think maybe we should just one more day just to rest up. That was That was pretty crazy last night. It would you, be but... nice to see, I'd say, as I, like, I'm, like, half asleep, chin propped up, uh, coffee and, like, spooning food into my mouth. If anyone else besides the people at the rave noticed what went on last night, or if there's any sort of explanation or something. Yeah. Uh, is there a temple in town? Is there any way I could have taken that skull with me at the end of the night? Like maybe they... sort of snuck it into my cape or something? Uh, give me a slight of, uh, a slight of hand of thing. I forget. I've played so many different versions of Dungeons and Dragons. I forget what skill checks are available. Slight of hand? Is that something that exists? Yeah, it's on the sheet. All right, then let's go with that. Oh, okay. Nine. All right. So... Uh, the dwarf sees you trying to wrap it up. You're not as stealthy as you think because you're dancing while you're doing it. Like you're still feeling the music, and they're like, "You're gonna come with me. I'll put you in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> you're my new best friend." <laughs> and she's like, "Don't, don't do that, please. Just leave it here. We've already kind of messed this place up." Hmm. I mean, I can't stop you from doing it, obviously. But that's right. You can't. If you, really if you have any respect that. for the dead here, this 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 skeleton is my new best friend. Well, it was my best friend's aunt. But all right, I <laughs> guess you really like bird watchers. I love birds. They're okay. delicious. Uh, what, right. Can I find out what the skeleton's name was in life? Sure. Um, her name was. Type it into a nature generator real quick. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm trying to think because people's names are often based on their professions in this world, right? So it's like two words that are tied into their profession. And if she worked in a, a dying town, like one that dies things, so her name might be like. Um, Graya Brightcloth. Graya? Graya. G-R-E-Y-A. Sorry. Graya twice died. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure. We can, we can make that canon. Oh, no. <laughs> twice dead. Yes. Uh, Stupid puns becoming canon. <laughs> I love her. She's like the grandma I never had. Oh. Uh, happen for everyone? Or just me? <laughs> yeah, no, that's. I'm trying to hit my back button and it's not going there. I thought I. I do, am I the only one that uses the fill option in this? I think so. <laughs> um. All right. So, what are you going to do during? You wanted to know if there was a temple. That was one of the questions. Yeah. So, uh, they do have a temple. Uh, well, obviously, their temple to Lundario is the tree you went to last night. Right. Um, but they do have another temple for the sun god in their city. Um, which, it's not a, a huge building, but it's it seats maybe 20 people or so in this amphitheater or whatever you call it. Uh, it's it's open to the sun because it's uh, worships the sun god. And they've dug it out of the side of the hill. Okay. Um, but specifically, Lundariel, and there's I guess there's no there's no priests to Lundariel around. So I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm thinking anyway. I was going to go 
query about undead and why they might come back, but that's as far as my brain got, so... <laughs> Do you want to check out the Temple to the Sun God? Sure, why not? Let's go in. All right. Well, I'll uh, go by myself unless anyone wants to come with me. But... Do you want to split the party or all be able to talk? Uh, as Ariel makes a suggestion and then promptly declines to go on it. Yeah. Um, I can tag along. I have nothing to do today um zip's gonna stay behind you guys should sleep anyway <sighs> was my plan already again i can't remember i don't know if buck and i were staying in the same room but um well it's no because i think we got them. separate rooms okay. yeah yeah all right so you get to the Temple of Zeo, which is the name of the sun god. Uh, and there's a, a bright-eyed, happy young man. It's like, oh, hello, welcome. Welcome to the Temple of Zeo. Uh, good, good greetings. Hello, sir. Um, uh, nice temple you've got here. Um, oh, thanks. Very nice different. sunny day for it. Is it sunny out? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I go more in for, like, thunderstorms and stuff, and I'll hold up the, the symbol that I wear. But, like, oh. but, like hey, every religion, like, you know, it's cool. We're all, we all worship someone somehow, like, you know. Um, anyway, do you have any problems with undead in town? I'm just going to blow that out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, not at all. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> well, cool. Bye. Cool. Yeah, are, you, uh, <laughs> are you like some sort of undead hunter or something? Um, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. I'd like, like, that'd be a cool profession, but I'm, st I'm still learning. You know. Uh, I'm trying to find my master, and it's been eaten by, been consumed. Also, I don't know what's happened, but my master is like inside a titan now, and I got to find them and get them back. Um, but I, you know, I just thought I'd ask in case he needed. He some looks help really. Con he looks <laughs> really concerned when you say your master has been, you know, consumed by a titan. I'm really <laughs> earnest what? when I say that. Like, what, what? <laughs> like I'm not even. What are you talking that. about? Oh. Um, my master's a titan slayer and, and uh, we were at like a meeting for, the, for them and um, then when like the whole place was attacked and, and we got sent here well not here but like you know place like, like it, was, it was like a little little, little grave this minotaur guy's grave and then we've made our way here it's, it's, like, it's, a, it's a long story um, um, and then I was just kind of like arm and ah for, for a bit and stopped talking um, well, if you're seeking guidance here, uh, maybe I can be of assistance. Uh, it, Zeo helps us see all things. He is this eye in the sky, the one who allows us to to see beyond uh, uh, into things that we would normally be able to, to know about. Uh, uh, how, how do you mean? You're looking for undead? Is that... Uh, Are you hoping yeah, that the undead don't, don't worry, don't worry about that. That's fine. Uh, I just, you know, uh, don't worry about that. Um, but hold on, you, uh, you, you have a way to see the future. Yeah. Oh no, I mean no. Uh, Zio sees these things. I, I don't uh, see them. Uh, but uh, I don't think Zio really sees the future so much as sees everything in the, the present day. Oh, right, I get you. Okay. Yeah. He's like the Watcher. Um, Watches over us all. You know, Even if you have uh, a different faith. I'll, I'll start to say something and I'll stop and I'll say, 
Um, well, that's okay. Uh, thank you, though. It's nice to meet a, a fellow acolyte. Um, you know, in this, you know, you're kind of in, in, in the jungle here. Um, you, are, are you sure you're okay? I mean, pretty good, I guess. I'm not. Why don't you just join me in? Why don't you join me in prayer? And why don't we ask Zio for for some guidance here? Oh, Sunda might get some help. upset. I, I don't want to. I don't want to upset Sunda. Like you're saying, they're all we're all, you know, people of faith. There's nothing wrong with praying to a different god. I mean, <laughs> uh, there is a little bit. <laughs> but, I think why they varies. Yeah, it depends. Um, but no, no, I appreciate it. It's cool. I'm, I'm think I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go say a prayer to Sunda in, in my own time and see if I can get any guidance there. But th thank you. Thank you, hey, and, and I'll, I'll start stepping back towards the outside. He sort of follows you and looks wistfully like, oh, that one got away. I didn't know what to say to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Another lost soul. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought that would be awkward as hell to do so. <laughs> all right anything else anybody wants to accomplish while they're in town no. we did our shopping else. yesterday oh. yeah we did some shopping already Are the guards still guarding the flower yes the guards are still guarding the uh the dyes the flowers that make the die. Can I, um, there's two guards, right? Uh, as far as you can tell, there might be more. Might be undercover guards, who knows? Well, it'll be pretty bright, bright cloth, so. <laughs> but it's camouflaged because it's a bright city. Whoever is drawing the charcuterie board also, you know, I think it looks really tasty. I'm good. I'm assuming that's you, Brian. Yes. <laughs> Since I'm not drawing the PCs. Um, uh, yeah. What's uh? That, that's it. You guys are just waiting for. Are you waiting for this? Are you gonna leave when the sun goes down? Or are you gonna leave the next day? I guess the next What's day. The plan? Yeah. Well, the next the day. Next day. Oh. All right. Do you remember how much I charged you for the inn the night before? It's five gold for the finest room and breakfast. So probably less for the not find this room, I would guess. All right, is that what you're going for? Yeah, of course. Okay. Should I take a? Should, is that a long rest? Yes. Like that we you, had. You can have a long rest. Uh, Swell's probably gonna do some exercise and go for a jog around town, or to the edge of town, and um, with some rocks and. Uh, some chin ups on one of the tree trees or something like that. Um, you notice one of the teens from the other day uh, is like watching you do this. Uh, there was a a young woman who had been, you know, keeping her distance from you mm. and did never come up and speak to you. But you know, she's eyeing you, you know, doing your muscly, sweaty exercise. I'm gonna show off a little bit. Um, okay. like pretend I don't see it, and then and just kind of like, you know, when I when I'm like wiping the sweat off, <laughs> flex that arm a little bit, like harder, like, <laughs> you know? a few a few one arm push ups, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that type of thing, and then um, I'll just uh, try to casually just be like, oh oh hey hey you were at the you were at that party the other night right. Yeah, that was crazy. That was you nuts. guys. Uh, what the, that was wow. Yeah. Are yeah. you guys gonna come out again tonight? Another one? There's another party. You guys are here. There's gonna be another party. Oh man. Yeah, I think we're gonna. It's gonna be a different spot tonight. Okay, so not at the graveyard. Yeah, they're picking out another good spot. All right. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll let the I'll let the party know. I'll let the I'll let, let the others know and see if, if see if they're keen. I think uh, a few of us will be, but yeah, we'll see. You let us know where it is. Yeah, yeah. Where are you staying? The inn. Yeah, yeah. I'll come by and get you. Sounds good. All right. Do, do they have a it's party a every night? I mean, it's a. <laughs> no, no, not not every night. But you know, if we got guests, we got to represent. Oh right, I get you. I get you. All right. Cool. What was your name? Well, since we've already had uh, uh, bright cloth being used and then taken away, I'm going to go with bright cloth for this. And her name is Piz. Piz, Piz bright cloth. Okay. Yeah. Um, put one hand behind my head and kind of flex as I like scratch the back of my head. Um, I've she, been she asking, blushes. <laughs> uh, I've been asking around about like. Well, undead, but no one seems to know, like, what, you know, what could have caused it. But, like, I didn't say, this is what happened. I just, I just, you know, it was like. Yeah, no, no, don't tell anybody about that. Oh, no. We'll no, get no. in trouble. I won't. Promise. But, yeah, it's just really weird. Anyway. All right. Well, I should get back. Nice to meet you, Piz. My name's Swell, by the way. I don't think I told you. But... Nice to meet you, Swell. Just kind of nod and awkwardly turn around and jog away. All right. Trip over my own feet real quick. She watches you jog away. Yeah. Trip a little bit and then just kind of pretend like I meant to do it and keep jogging. <laughs> Um, you guys, anything else? Are you going to tell the party? Oh, no. no about no. the party? Good to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to keep that little nugget to yourself. <laughs> but you're going to let down Piz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, then I'm going to say that uh, the chameleon woman, or a teen, uh, comes by uh, the inn looking for you, Isboreal. And Just down in the common room looking a little bit better at this point, having had a good nap. Okay. Uh, and Lara is like, that was so weird last night. I can't believe that happened. It was really strange, especially since everyone keeps saying that it never happens. It was so singular. Yeah, that's so weird. Um, we're going to have another party tonight. Are you staying around? Oh, yes. Uh, I was certainly here for at least one more night. It would it would be rude if I didn't, you know, go to this event. Uh, is it going to be at the same place? No, uh, we thought it was a little weird, so we're going to go to the mines, because nobody uses the mines anymore, because they don't have... Uh, nobody's paying us to do the mining. Everybody wants to pay for right. the dye yes. instead. So we're going to go yes, into sounds, the mines. Sounds totally innocuous, and there's nothing that could ever happen in some abandoned mines. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> no, it's going to be dangerous, which is going to be why it's awesome. <laughs> uh, he is totally going to go to this party. Um, but he is going to wear his armor this time. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you follow Zip's lead. Yeah. Always packing heat. <laughs> um, well, uh, everybody's going to the party tonight. Bug, are you going to go as well? Um, well, I guess. I don't think it's a good idea, but I uh, I go anyway, I guess, because everyone else is going. Is All everyone right. else going? Is everyone? Well, I didn't tell anyone about it, and this people hasn't yeah. yet. But... Well, yeah, like, do how do we find out about the party? Uh, if he encounters people along the way, he 
will mention it, but I'm not sure that he would go out of his way to mention it. Like that he would knock on people's doors, but... Um, so you, I think you'll... Zip's in the common room with you. Uh-huh. Yeah, Zip, Zip would be like eating dry toast or something. Yeah. And Zip is down for the party. Um, Zip's like uh, suspicious, not suspicious. She's like skeptical. Like I don't know. It, I I did. I was. It was pretty hard last night. But also like, if East Burial's going, she's kind of worried that it's gonna get like freaky again. So yeah. <laughs> if East go. Burial's going, you know it's gonna get. Yeah. Freaky. <laughs> well, no, like mostly because she's worried that East Burial's gonna get hurt. <laughs> So she'll be like, "Yeah, I'll go." And we have to we have to leave for our journey first thing in the morning. So yeah, I'm with I'm with Bug yeah. on that. I, I mean, as much fun it is to like body and stuff, I, I don't know. Unless we get home by eleven. Boy is giving us, a, sorry, uh, Bug is giving us a curfew. The t- twelve-year-old. It's also boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is is really like us. Well, I'm going. You can stay here and be in you know, boogles if you so choose. Uh, and uh, I realize that we are leaving tomorrow, and so you have to maximize the time um, that you're in the town to have fun. Right. Okay, well, if you're set on going, then I will go too. So I can drag you back. It's by a spell it. <laughs> That's not the spell it. <laughs> I will wear my armor this time, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. just going to unabashedly bring my giant sword this time as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the party suits up. There's some music playing in the background from downstairs at the inn. As a, there's a little montage of you all getting dressed and pumped up for going out. Some of you more pumped up than others. And uh, next week we'll find out what happens in the minds of Thunderroot. Uh, thank you everyone for watching us in our game tonight. Uh, at the end, I usually like to ask if there is a, a favorite standout moment. Uh, right now, I'm loving both the drawings that are on the page. I think there were a lot of fun drawings tonight, but that just hung over or not hung over but uh very exhausted. worn out exhausted uh is boreal is very nice <laughs> and that uh happy dancing zip is <laughs> a, a nice contrast to the way we normally see her. <laughs> um did anybody else have a favorite thing that they like about tonight's game <clears throat> i actually liked uh it's all going to the temple and being like yeah so here's everything that's going wrong with me, and also here's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just like to a random stranger. He hasn't, he hasn't had right. Osprey to talk to about all the stuff that's happening, so he's, he's kind of offloading. And then he yeah. picks somebody who he is like, oh, wait, I can't take religious advice from you. You're from a different religion. <laughs> Why not come in here? <laughs> yeah. And I then... also like how weirdly confident Zip was around that girl. Mm-hmm. Normally he's not so... Oh, Swell. Cool. Swell. Swell, sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny. He was working out. That was up. <laughs> his, his, it's his like he's, he's awkward and smooth at the same time. It was still awkward <laughs> as hell. Like the whole, <laughs> whole exchange. Uh, but... Nice. It was good. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think. Uh, and then he wasn't gonna go to the party, even though he said he would, or he wasn't planning to. Yeah, I, I was just gonna pretend. So he <laughs> like, lied to the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> he wants to get back on the road too. <laughs> I think my favorite moment was carrying Bug home. Buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a cute drawing. <laughs> I thought it was fun. Good one. Like fun to think, it's just like taking taking the children home, <laughs> <laughs> or that one friend who's just always falls asleep in random places. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, well, thanks everyone for joining us tonight. And thanks to all the players who played and drew tonight. You guys are a fun group to play with. Uh, why don't you do your outros and say goodbye? Uh, let's start with Caitlin. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Caitlin playing Zip. Tune in again next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Priscilla. Uh, I am Priscilla. I, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Autumn Flame. And that's mainly where I am these days, honestly. <laughs> so, um, also Instagram at Priscilla Kim Art. And yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, Boya. Hello, thank you. I'm Boya, and you can find all my stuff on my Instagram, I guess. Although I haven't really been posting anything, just working every day. Matt. Um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I've been Matt playing Swell. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram uh, at mkhoddy, and uh, I've, I've been posting some um, some art, some illustrations from the other games that I've been playing. Um, just, just some character illustrations. Yeah, it's been fun. Thank you for watching. Yeah, those are also, you and me has great. a nice line about how the line "best friends will never see again" and uh, hit them hard. But then the party did reunite with the community team. It is kind of reminiscent of when you're traveling and then you get like these really intense one night friendships with people that you can <laughs> just, you know, never see again because you move on to different places. Before the lockdown, Caitlin and I went down to Mexico and we, mm -hmm. I thought we made some really good friends on this trip. Um, and we still talk to each other on like online and stuff. But um, since like lockdown happened, we were like, we'll come see us in like England yeah. and stuff. And then like can't do any of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely different when you're back in the regular routine. Yeah. We're like Instagram friends now. <laughs> now we get to live vicariously through our characters going on adventures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the greatest fantasy of all. Not the magic or the wizards or the undead. It's the travel. <laughs> yeah, being able to go out and like talk to people and have a party. <laughs> yeah, being able to go yeah. to a party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even like parties that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous of Sip getting yeah. messy drunk, though. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm Brian. Have a good night, and uh, see you next week for some Dungeons and Dragons and Drawings. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 -bye.